Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the bonus episode of Let's Play Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. Now, you might be wondering why I'm headed to Armored Armadillo stage. Well, there's a fifth upgrade that we need to get. This upgrade is so powerful that it'll just wreck shit up. So that most of you already know what I'm talking about. Also, here's Chameleon Sting's charged weapon. You're invincible for quite some time. And this weapon will one-shot any enemy in the game. And oh, damn it. And the only way to get it is to go through Armored Armadillo stage hitless. In Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. In Mega Man X, all you have to do is have all the upgrades and maybe it'll happen. But in this, you have to have all the upgrades and then get through the stage hitless. And death. Son of a damn it! I'll do this. I swear to goodness, I will. Not much is going to stop me, anyway. Armored Armadillo! Wibla blah boo blah blah blah. I'm gonna hear that far too many times. I was screwed by momentum based gameplay. Momentum based gameplay. If this takes too long, I can always just speed it up. Armored Armadillo. So, in Chenzo related news, I've started fixing things. You know, GameCube controllers, Game Boy Advances. Simple stuff. And the hardest part was getting the screwdriver. Well, everything else, I just needed a guide to look up online. Fuck! No! Storm Tornado! Taste the rainbow, motherfucker. Can you feel the sunshine, motherfucker? Oh, I forgot to show this. I shoot fish. Fish are nice. Nice one shot. Chameleon Sting! Oh. So far we've gone through Hitless. Oh god, the jump. The jump at the end. There we go. That was perfect framing right there. Perfect. Oh yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Things are working well. Things are indeed working well. Charge up a rolling shield. Okay, come on, come on. Go. I got a life. I did it. 
So you've made it this far, have you? Enter this capsule, and you will receive an ability that only a few people have been able to master through intense training. Since your soul is nearly human, I suspect you can master it. X, feel the power flowing in you. Learn to throw fireballs. Thank you, Dr. Light. Dr. Light, who has mastered the Hadouken? This ability can only be used when you have full health, because it's downright fierce. Let's use it on our friendly armadillo friend, shall we? Well, let's make sure that we can just take him out simple. X, I have orders to defeat you. Enough talk, let's fight! Enough fight, let's talk! This is the Hadoken. And we are now the fully realized Mega Man X that we always dreamed we could be. It doesn't even show up. Like, see, power up parts, it still says 4 of 4, when we have 5 of 4. Cancel save operation, yes. To title screen. Why? Because we have one more thing to show off before we end this bonus episode. And no, it's not the fancy title screen in flames again. Although that is pretty nice looking. Oh, we have to show the Mega Man Powered Up demo. Mega Man! Mega Man Powered Up is the attempt of revival of the Mega Man original series. And it's actually pretty good. I like it. However, we're going to be playing old style. So that way when we, if I plan to do a future Let's Play of this, it won't be ruined by, you know, me already having played it. And it's right back to Mega Man, you know, old style. The jumping's the same, the enemies are the same, everything just looks cartoony and cutesy, and it's actually pretty nice. Besides, you get to see my uber Mega Man skills. Other than my Mega Man X skills, which are completely different skills. And, just like Mega Man Maverick Hunter X, Mega Man Powered Up only saw one release. There was no sequel, even though there was planned to be one, just like Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. Unfortunately, because the PSP sold poorly, this game was also fated to do poor. The PSP was housed to many Capcom remakes, as I probably said early in the first episode. Castlevania Rondo of Blood saw a remake. Actually, it saw an initial release from the Americans in the Americas. Oh, also, just like the original, just like Mega Man Maverick Hunter X, you have two Buster buttons. You didn't actually have two Buster buttons in the uh, original Mega Man. But they figured, why not? 
I mean, the Mega Buster is just too awesome to leave alone. However, Mega Man in this game cannot charge his Buster. That is a power that is reserved until Mega Man 4. And then becomes a series staple. Mega Man can't even slide in this one. Because, again, this was not introduced until Mega Man 3. Also, if you can beat Hard Man without his weakness, you're pretty good at Mega Man 3. And I'm pretty good at Mega Man 3. I'm not the best, no, I still think the Doc Robot stages are bullshit. But Mega Man 3 is fun. I'll get to it eventually. This game had quite a following among, among Mega Man fans. In that... It had a level creator. And the level creator was used to create levels from Mega Man 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 74. Well, this button. I'm pretty sure they made him easier and powered up. Anyway, we're at Cutman. That's right, the hallways between bosses are actually filled with traps in the original Mega Man. And as such, it made the game a bit harder than other Mega Mans. Alright, Cutman. He has a pretty simple pattern. He will jump at you and eventually stop and throw his thing. His thing is homing, and he will try... He won't stop jumping. He, that's just what he does. He jumps. He and Gutsman are actually one of my worst bosses. In that, I just can't. Oh, see, I just can't. I'm bad at cut, man. I'm lying, I can't cut, man. Also, in the original Mega Man, you can kill that thing while it's on the ceiling. You don't have to wait for it to pop out like in this one. However, you can't kill that one while it's on the floor. I just hit the dash button in hopes. Cutting it up. He's a cut above the rest. He'll only jump when he's near you, so when he's far away, he'll just, you know, run. You can only have three of your shots on screen, which is actually detrimental since the screen is so big. But we got him. Yeah, I was hoping he'd fall against the wall. This game is so cartoony, I love it. How's that original Mega Man jingle for you? Anyway, Mega Man Powered Up releases almost a decade ago. If you want it, just buy a PSP. However, you cannot download Mega Man Powered Up from the PlayStation Network shop. I know, it's sad. That's where I was going to get it, so I always had it on my PSP and could play it whenever I want. But sadly, you can't. You have to buy the actual physical game. Which I have. Don't look at me like that. I'm not a sad person, you're a sad person. Anyway. Mega Man, Maverick Hunter X. That uh, will about do it for Maverick Hunter X. It's just, you know, just this. Oh, also there's a movie, The Day of Sigma, which basically rewrites how Mega Man X1 started. And it's fun. My god. You could have swore I lived in a bell tower. Anyway. Next time on the Chenzo 55 Beta Let's Play channel. Sonic 06?